Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to be looking at the Filter 92 effect in Native Instruments Tractor Pro 2. The Filter 92 is very similar to the basic filter effect in Tractor Pro 2. The difference, though, is that the way the filter actually sounds is modeled after the Allen and Heath Zone 92 mixer. If you're familiar with the standard filter effect in Tractor Pro 2, you're probably familiar with the controls of this effect but we're also going to go through them if you've never used the filter effect or the filter 92 effect before. We're gonna go through the knobs first and we're gonna start with the dry wet knob. I have this set all the way to the right, which is the 100% wet position. And that's where you want to have this effect. When you're using the filter, you don't want to mix the sound that's being filtered out with the original track. So you want to set it all the way to the right. The next knob we have is the high pass knob, which is abbreviated to HP. Now this knob you want to start all the way to the left, and it's going to be passing all of the frequencies to the right of it. So as you turn the knob to the right, you're going to be filtering out all of the frequencies below the point of where you have the knob, and it's going to just be passing everything to the right. And one of course you have it set all the way to the right position, you're not going to hear anything. So let's take a listen quickly to the high pass filter. And of course, when you put it all the way to the right, you can't hear anything. So typically you're gonna to wanna to start with that on the leftmost position and then be turning that to the right. Next up for knob two, we have RES, which is short for resonance. A lot of times this is described as the color of the sound. So that's the resonance knob. And again, as it's turned more to the right, you're going to hear the filtered effect more. Typically, I like to leave it right in the middle around 50%. The last knob we have is knob three, and this is labeled LP for low pass. And this will let everything that's below the knob's position pass in the song. So you want to start this all the way to the right so that the entire track is heard. So now let's take a quick listen to the low pass filter. And of course, when this is turned all the way to the left, you're not going to hear any of the track. So you're typically gonna to wanna to start with that all the way to the right. So now let's go through the different buttons that we have on the effect. Of course, we have an on off button and we also have button number one set to reset. This is gonna be the same through all of the effects in Tractor Pro 2. Next up, we have the button labeled BRJ and this stands for band reject. And when you turn it on, it's going to eliminate the frequencies that are between the two cutoff points. So in between the two different high pass and low pass filters, that will be played. So let's just take a listen to how that can sound. Finally, we have DJM, which stands for DJ mode. If you press that, you'll see that the controls change. Knob one doesn't do anything. Knob two, the band reject is gone. And button three turns into the combination low pass and high pass filter. Now with this, you're going to want to start it in the center. And when you play a track with it in the center, you're not going to hear any difference in the song. Again, this knob combines a low pass and high pass filter into one knob. Now, when you turn the knob to the left, you're going to be 
doing a low pass filter, and when you turn it to the right, you're going to be doing a high pass filter. So it's very similar to the way that the filters work on a Pioneer DJM DJ mixer. So now let's take a quick listen to how the filter works in DJ mode. So those are the different controls of the effect, and let's talk quickly about how you might want to use these in your mix. I would suggest that you start with the dry-wet at 100% and the effect turned on. Depending on whether you want to use the DJ mode or the regular mode, you're going to want to set your knobs in different positions. So in DJ mode, you're going to want to set knob number 3 to the center to start, and then move it to the left or to the right. If you don't have it in DJ mode, you're going to want to set your knob 3 position all the way to the right, that's the low pass filter, letting everything through, and knob number 1 all the way to the left, which is the high pass filter, and letting everything through there. Then you're going to want to adjust the high pass filter to the right, and the low pass filter to the left, to cut out the particular frequencies that you want. The filter 92 effect is really great for mixing between songs. With multiple effect units in the software, you can assign each track deck to its own effect unit and then use multiple filters in your mix. To learn more about using filters in your DJ mixes, go ahead and check out the link in the video description below.